Hi, it's Steve from uh, Seaside Allotment and I thought I'd give you a first glimpse of Debbie's plot today and uh, I've been working on it well Debbie's been working on it for a couple of months because it was in a real mess when we got it and I've been working on it well only for the last two or three days so uh, yeah I'll give you a quick look round so this gives you a good idea of what uh, Debbie's plot used to look like. Loads of wood dumped everywhere, absolutely masses of weeds and huge amounts of these old tiles, um, loads and loads of fabric intermatted with weeds, carpet intermatted with weeds, just a horrible, horrible mess. All the ground looked like this everywhere and loads of mare's tail all the soil was intermatted with uh, couch grass roots and of course couch grass up to your knees what a mess so uh, this is kind of what it looks like now so we put in some nice beds and uh, we're gonna have some nice little uh, bark paths, actually probably not putting bark down, we're putting um, uh, chopped up wood uh, chippings uh, from the tree surgeon. Um, the beds are soil at the base and then well rotted horse manure and then volcanic rock dust and seaweed meal and then um, spent mushroom compost on top. Put in this little bed today. Built that fence today. Did these beds yesterday. Debbie's been working on the path. She's doing it with this crazy paving effect. Save money, it looks nice too. And then she puts grass down in the gaps and the grass grows and binds everything together really well it actually works for I've done it at home as well and then I've been edging these paths so that we can contain the wood chips and then we've just planted this orchard a couple of the trees were already here but uh, she's planted lots more trees she's uh, dug out that path which is completely invisible with weeds and put in a little flower border down here painted the shed. So in this orchard area what we've done, we've dug out to a fork's depth the uh, couch grass and the mare's tail and everything so um, and we weed treated it but we know that you know that's not enough and uh, the weeds are going to come back so we've put horse manure, it looks look like horse manure but this is uh, unrotted uh, horse manure, fresh horse manure which is mostly wood chips in this case um, Put about a, an inch of wood chips down and the intention there is uh, that, that will gradually rot down uh, where it intersects with the soil surface but it'll also provide a bit of a light barrier and then on top of that we're going to put the uh, weed suppressant fabric that we've got there and um, we're going to put that down double thickness I'm going to peg that down and then on top of that we're going to put just for decorative effect, uh, as I said, these uh, wood chips uh, that we get from the tree surgeon for free. So I'll just step back and give you a kind of idea of what the uh, whole thing looks like. Debbie's repaired all this fence and moved all these compost bins and done all the planting. I've just done the hard landscaping basically, so I've done the beds, um, edged the paths built the fence uh, and that sort of thing so uh, that's my contribution over the last couple of days but uh, I'm pretty pleased with it now I think it looks really nice and I'm quite pleased with this fence I think it looks quite good certainly very sturdy now and then uh, we, we squeezed in a little bag down the side there which I think would be quite a nice little comfort bed actually and, uh, using the fence for support 
So I'll just give you a quick idea of what we've got in here. So these bags really aren't planted yet, but she's just popped a couple of uh, cauliflowers in there. Of course, we've got um, sweet corn here. And then these are our cauliflower with beans and onions around the outside. Um, and this one is New Zealand spinach, which is a huge bushy plant once it gets going. Um, it's an alternative for spinach in the summer uh, with onions around it. And so we've got trees here, so apple, apple, cherry, apple, apple, plum. And two new beds here, a bed down the side, and then these are all red and um, black currants. There's some gooseberry bushes going down the centre. Um, we haven't had a chance to prune those or anything. Uh, then we've got a pear tree at the back um, and then we're going to, once we sort this back out here we're going to plant all the way across the back there um, and we're going to have a big rhubarb patch and some globe artichoke and stuff like that in this this area at the back but uh, obviously it's just a bit of a dumping ground at the moment while we clear the rest of the plot so that's uh, probably this autumn's project so uh, there you go first glimpse of Debbie's plot.